Has a teacher ever said something to your child that made you angry? My mom was the one that stormed the school. Back in the early 70s they started a program in my city called Urban Slash Suburban. Basically what they did was bus urban, black, kids from the city out to the suburbs, aka white. I was one of the chosen ones to get bused. I was a kindergartner. Day one, despite admonishment by the principal to make sure all children get on the right bus, my teacher allowed me to get on the wrong bus, then the bus driver compounded the problem by forcing me off the bus in an unfamiliar neighborhood. I walked for I don't know how long, crying because I was lost. Thankfully, a bunch of teenagers came across me crying and tried to comfort me. Thankfully, the oldest boy recognized me, so took me home where his mother called my mother. My mother had been calling the school, trying to find out where I was. This was considered strike one in my mother's eyes. The school is now very much on her radar. My teacher was a racist witch and I was the only black kid in her class, and I felt her fury and disgust. The kids didn't know what to make of me either, so they stayed their distance. For the first several weeks, there was always a huge circle around me where not one child would come near me. Yet, somehow, I was always in trouble for talking. Going to get the lunches and milk for the class was always an honor. Every kid but me was chosen. I kept having a tantrum every morning because even as young as I was, I knew something wasn't right in the way my teacher treated me but I couldn't articulate the problem. Then, she made a mistake. My mother took great pride in making sure both me and my sister's hair was doing just about every morning. My mom put this hair grease on my head that had a slight odor. My teacher did not care for the odor at all so she banished me to stand outside the class because I smelled. So standing outside the classroom, I start crying because my teacher said I was smelly, something no child likes to be called. I'm totally bawling my eyes out. The vice principal comes across me crying my little heart out in the hallway and tries to find out what's wrong. I can't speak because I'm just that unhappy so I'm a bit hysterical. So he picks me up and takes me to the principal who tries to get the info out of me. I just want to go home, I just want my mommy. So the principal calls my mom. My mom arrives by taxi with my three years brother, she's not going to leave him with just anyone, here's the thing, we were on welfare and with five kids, money was always tight but she came. As soon as I see her, I can tell she is pissed, but I don't care, I just run to her and start crying again. She manages to get what the problem is and tells the principal she wants to see the woman. Now, I guess neither the principal or the teacher have ever dealt with angry black woman but the principal had dealt with angry mother so he didn't interfere when my mother went off. She cursed that woman out so hard and fast that it left the teacher stuttering. Surprisingly enough, after that, I never had a problem with that teacher. I miss my mom.